Valentina and welcome back to my channel today. I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me plus vlog of my friend's wedding I am so excited because I haven't been to a wedding ever since my wedding <laughs> and I wasn't the guest there So this is gonna be really exciting and even before this I've never really been to a wedding I've only been to weddings of older people never of friends. So I'm super excited I'm gonna be showing you guys all the products that I'm using plus jewelry my beautiful dress I I'm obsessed with my dress plus the heels all the info on that and I'm gonna be vlogging a little bit of the wedding So let's get ready. I just showered as you guys can tell but I didn't wash my hair because I didn't want it to get it wet, but I will be putting it like in a little bun and styling it after I just kind of put it in this because I didn't have a shower cap So I'm gonna let it down right now and it's probably gonna be a little bit of a mess But that's okay because you're getting ready with me. My dress is kind of open back So I think I'm gonna be doing a bun like a low bun kind of like how I did for my wedding to be honest It was like a cute little messy bun kind of ish with like my hairs like this I think it's it's a vibe. I think it's giving wedding, you know, so I think I'm gonna do that But first I'm gonna be doing my makeup. So let's find these little clips I used my little bare headband the other time But I want to switch it up today and use my little clips that I use. Oh my gosh I'm so excited guys. Okay, it looks like I have mix matched white and black ones So I'm gonna be putting those on but I'm so excited guys Like I said, I have never been a wedding of a friend. So this is super exciting I know I'm gonna cry because hello like weddings are just so magical and I'm a cry Baby. So um, I'm gonna be using this moisturizer from La Roche Posay. I hope I'm saying it right. They actually gifted me so much PR, and it's crazy because they're the only, literally the only skincare line that I use because it's just my skin is just too sensitive, and I've been dealing with acne for a year now. So it's the only skincare that I've seen that has actually helped my skin get better. Non-sponsored, by the way. I just genuinely love their products. I'm gonna let it dry for a little bit, and then I'm gonna put on primer. Also, disclaimer: I'm not great at makeup. So so if I do something that's like not right, please bear with me. I don't really know what I'm doing. I only usually wear like concealer, blush, mascara, and lip gloss. But I feel like I need to go a little bit more full coverage today. So I'm going to put on like foundation and all that jazz. So please bear with me. Do not make fun of me. Okay, so we're going to let that dry and I'll be right back. Okay, for my lips right now, I'm going to be using this Summer Fridays lip balm. It literally smells so delicious. I've had this for a while now, so I'm going to be putting it on a little bit just so my lips are in like chat put that on and literally smells so good okay and also guys i'm sitting on the floor because in front of me is like a big mirror so i'm kind of like checking myself out and i'm gonna be doing my hair here as well because the bathroom i think is too little because jaco is trying to get ready by the day is in her room getting ready so i'm gonna be using my old room's big mirror but next is going to be primer i have this elf one that i haven't used yet and then i also have this refi one that i've already used so maybe I'm just gonna use the Refi one because I already know how it works. Or honestly, I could use this too. Now let's try the Elf one because I've heard good things about it. It's not the one that's like everybody loves and you know, they recently brought it out again. I think it's like the one that tries to be like it. So we're gonna try this one out. And by the way guys, it's currently 2.51 p.m. And we have to be out of here ready to go at four. So I have an hour to do my hair and makeup. I have to kind of hurry up. <laughs> I didn't put that much moisturizer because I knew I was gonna put on primer. So let's do this. Okay, hopefully. Hopefully, guys, like I said, I do not know what I'm doing. Hopefully, this isn't too much or too little. Like, I don't know what the fudge I'm doing. Okay, this has a grip to it. Like, period. Oh my gosh. It literally, look, look, guys. That's crazy. <gasps> That's literally crazy. I need to put a little bit, like, on my chin. It literally feels like glue. This is actually insane. <laughs> okay. That's insane. Hopefully my makeup stays on the whole night. <laughs> I don't know what time the wedding ends because it did say on the invitation. It just said 5 p.m. So hopefully it stays on the whole night. I think I'm gonna use this concealer. I'm literally so nervous, guys, because last time I did like foundation makeup, it came out so blotchy and I literally hated it so bad. I just don't know how to do makeup really. Or I don't know if it's the products that I'm using or whatever it is, but it literally did not come out good at all. I have like the basics. I have the bronzer stick, concealer, foundation, highlighter. I 
used, I think, this one last time, which, like I said, don't know about makeup, but I guess I didn't apply it well, and it just came out so blotchy, so I'm gonna use my Merit Stick instead. It's like a foundation slash concealer stick, so I'm gonna use this one. This one was in the shade Linen, if you guys wanted to know. I just need to see which color I use, because there's one that's, like, super light, and then one that's, like, super dark for my tan. So these are the colors that we're working with. This one's, like, really white-ish, and I kind of have, like, a tan right now, so I don't know if I should use this one but like if it's the wrong color y'all like i'm effed yeah totally so i don't know let me put it right here okay that's like really orange at least with the white one on the bottom i can kind of like fix it up with contour so i think i'm gonna go with that one let's just go for it like literally let's just go for it i'm terrified oh my gosh i'm literally so scared it's looking too white but let's see if we can fix it up this primer is on me like it's on I definitely have to add more of it though because it's not giving me a full coverage. I look white guys, but I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna fix it. So next I'm gonna be using this Hourglass Concealer in the shade Fawn. sure of the order of this so i don't know if you're supposed to do you're supposed to be baking before you put blush but usually i put blush and then i bake because they're both like liquid so i'm just gonna go with what i always do i'm gonna do the blush first and then i'm gonna put the powder so for blush i have this really really old. it's all dusty musty it's this rare beauty blush in the shade hope so we're gonna put this on super cute i literally have this for a while now <laughs> ever since i lived in la and it still has blush in it isn't that Insane. It's currently 308, so I think we're good on time because my hair is gonna be not that hard to do. So blush right there, a little bit of blush right there. Blend it out with this. I think this is a, oh, this is an elf brush. This is like kind of old too. It's a complexion duo brush. So it has this side, I guess, for like eyeshadows, and this side for powder, but I use it for blush. I'm also gonna put on more like powder blush after so it can be pinkier. I think I have rabbit. What is it, bunny cheeks? What is that trend on TikTok? Do you guys see that? <laughs> I've always have that. Even when I lose weight and stuff, like my cheeks are always. I think they're so cute though. Now I'm just gonna make sure I don't have any like excess concealer in the creases before I put the powder. I sound like I know what I'm doing. But I promise you guys, I just kind of like go with the flow and I just kind of learn from other girlies on the internet. Next, I'm going to be using this matte finishing powder from NYX. And that's what I use. So I'm going to do this. I just realized I forgot to put on the bronzer. I'll just put it on after this. <laughs> like I said, guys, I don't know what the fudge I'm doing. Okay, I'm going to let that sit. And I should have done this. But I'm lucky scared because I don't want to mess my makeup up because I've never really used a bronzer stick, so I'm scared. But I think I'll be fine. I'm gonna let this sit though. Okay, now I need to take off the excess powder. I hope I'm doing this right, guys. Because <laughs> if not, I'm gonna look goofy. Definitely need to use a bronzer stick because I feel like I'm looking too white. I'm really scared for this though. the rare beauty bronzer stick in the shade happy soul i'm so terrified right now <laughs> you're fine girl like like you're good y'all i never put a bronzer on the only time i put bronzer was for my wedding and when i was little for dance competitions now i have this alamar complexion trio palette they gifted me this and it's honestly so good shout out to alamar they're the best oh yeah and then the brush is also from alamar too it's for liquid blush but i was just using it for the bronzer stick i'm gonna pretend like i know what i'm doing because fake it till you make it huh Today was not the day to try to like experiment with makeup because it's the day of the wedding so I need to hurry up. I need to be faster. Oh, is this a bronzer brush? Bruh. Okay, I'm gonna look bronzier. I'm gonna put more powder like on the bottom. Now I think I need to do eyeshadow a little bit, which I don't even know how to do to be honest. My sister just gave me these palettes from Anastasia. So I'm just gonna try to wing it because that's 
that's all I know. <laughs> this is not the time to experiment, guys. Like, I need to hurry up, y'all. Okay, now I'm gonna put a little bit of highlighter. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand. Easy highlighter, the shade Spotlight. Honestly, this has a lot on it because it kind of exploded. I'm just gonna dab it a little bit. Dab, 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 dab. And... I don't know how to put on highlighter either, so we're winging this. Now, let's take off the excess powder. Okay. Now we're gonna put a little bit of more blush and this is the Dior blush in the shade Rosy Glow 001 pink. I used to hate blush guys. This is actually crazy. I used to hate blush growing up I mean, I used to hate blush when I was little but growing up. I just can't live without blush now I just don't understand how I didn't like it back then It's 3.34 so I have to hurry now I'm gonna put this Charlotte Tilbury setting spray I'm gonna put this on, then I just have to do my mascara, and then I just have to do my hair and dress. Oh, and I need to do my lips. And I need to kind of fix my eyebrows, but I just do this to them because they're already dark enough as they are, because my hair is pretty dark. I'm gonna just do my mascara and I'm using I can't even show you guys because the only thing I do not like about this telescopic mascara is that this happens like can you guys see how it's like peeling and stuff and it kind of like yeah I hate that that happens but the mascara in itself is so great so I just kind of deal with it so I'm gonna do my mascara and then I'm gonna do my lips and then I'm gonna do my hair really quick and then put on my dress and then it's time to go Okay, I'm done with my mascara. Now I just need to do my lips and I need to hurry the fudge up and do my hair. So that's gonna be really quick. I think I'm gonna either use this Charlotte Tilbury lip liner or this MAC lip liner. I'm not sure which one. My dress is baby blue. Cause I didn't bring any other ones. This one's a little bit darker and then this one's a little bit pinkier. It also depends on the lipstick that I'm gonna be wearing on top of it too. Cause I have these that YSL had sent me as PR. By the way, love you guys. They've been sending me PR and I love it so much. This one's too dark, so I'm gonna not do that one. This one's more like red-ish, kind of. And then this one's kind of, this one's kind of red pinky. I don't know how to explain it, but it's super cute. I don't think I brought any other ones. Or I can put on lip gloss, which would also look cute. I think I'm just gonna go with my gut. I'm gonna go with this MAC one. I feel like it'd be really nice. Oh yeah, this is perfect. Oh my gosh, this is literally a perfect color. I absolutely love it. I'm gonna be taking my mascara, my eyelash curler, my lip liner, my lip gloss, or lipstick, whatever I use, to the wedding because I know I'm gonna cry and I know I'm gonna mess up my makeup, so I need to pack it. I just need to kind of like just finish doing the lip. Okay, I can put on a little bit of this Sephora lip tint right here in the middle. This is kind of my everyday lip combo. And then I just kind of put like a lip gloss on top. Okay, this is actually really cute. Now I'm just gonna do my hair and I'll be ready to go. My mom is helping me out with um, my dress because she's ironing it because it's gonna get really messed up. So she's helping me out with that. I'm gonna do my hair probably off camera so my husband can use the mirror really quick. All right, guys, I had to do this off camera because my arms literally start to hurt and I get so annoyed. I'm gonna put on some hairspray and try to finish this. I've been at this for like 15 minutes. And we're 30 minutes late. And I look like a sexy papacito. <laughs> what am I gonna do? Guys, you know what I just realized? I didn't bring a purse for the wedding. I have my Prada purse, the one that I always wear, but I'm not gonna be wearing that one. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. This video is gonna go up for my Miami vlog. So if you guys don't know, I'm in my parents' home in Miami. Like I forgot to mention that I'm in Miami, guys. And we live in Houston. And so all of my purses and everything that I own is in Houston. I have no purses here. That's why I literally forgot to mention it. If you're a girl, you know the struggle. This is the worst pain after cramps and giving birth. <laughs> I've been at this for like 30 minutes. I'm just kidding. It's been like 15. Okay, this is as good as it's gonna get. I'm not doing it again. I have like a few bumps here, but I'm gonna have to deal with it because we're running late and we have to go. This is the hair. I'm leaving it as it is. I'm gonna put on my jewelry and then I'm gonna put on my dress and heels. All right, let's do it. These are my earrings, super simple, my everyday earrings. And I'm not gonna put on a necklace because my dress is too beautiful. I'm still trying to figure out why I look like a papacito right now.
Anyways. Alright guys, don't mind the mess right there. But this is my dress. It's literally so beautiful. I'll show you guys better. Like full body. Diggle will probably take a video of me. And yeah, this is the full look. I feel so beautiful. We need to go. So we'll see you guys at the wedding. How beautiful my sister looks. I look a little ducky chicken. <laughs> look how ducky handsome chicken. my husband looks. Woo! Wait, I know they're like so excited right now. Oh, love it's so beautiful. And you'll never find it. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I pray that God was in the room like you. He knew that you were the missing piece in making me whole. You may kiss your bride. I back home from the wedding it was so much fun guys everybody always has the best time together we had a lot of our friends there so it was really fun to reunite and just have a lot of fun we had a lot of great food that i forgot to film but it had steak macaroni and cheese asparagus and cornbread amazing and the cake was strawberry cake did you have fun Vale? yeah by the look of my hair and my face y'all can tell mm -hmm. did you have fun baby yes as y'all can see, I was drenched in sweat. Yeah. That's so much fun I was having. And the thing about us is that we're sober. Like, we've been sober for years. So, like, we have the best fun, even without any drinks. Yeah, and we don't club or mm -mm. go to parties. So, this was our form of, like, doing that. Yeah, like, dancing with, like, friends and family and stuff. So, it was really, really fun. But right now, it's currently... 11:54. Uh, this is my husband's phone. He's like, yeah. I'm honestly really hungry, guys. And I thought there was gonna be food here, but I haven't checked. Have you checked? Have you checked? Well, I'm starving. I took some pictures, and I'm gonna pop them up right here. 
Cause I and then pop that. it in right here. <laughs> and I'm right here. Yeah, yeah, we actually all took pictures of that. It was really fun. The wedding was beautiful. Tiffany and yeah, and Ewan looked amazing. Yeah. Oh my gosh, they were having the best fun. They were dancing. Well, I didn't explain it, but he's from South Africa and she is Jamaican. So it was just a blast. So like, fun. I want to go to South Africa now. It was just, everybody was vibing. The music was the best. Oh, so Yeah, fun. no, I'm definitely marrying a South African. A South African. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Please. It was so much fun. Imagine Hispanics with South African or like that culture. Ooh. Amazing. But yeah, guys, that was it for today's video. I love you guys so so much and i will continue to do all these vlogs for you guys they're honestly so much fun to make especially when i have my friends and family in them um so yeah i love you guys so much don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next the next, in this, i'm so tired in the next video love you guys love you guys Bye.